Everybody, welcome in to Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. It's a brand new week. Hopefully, we'll make it a profitable one, and we're going to give you a free play here on the Minnesota Twins and Chicago Cubs game. This is the first of a three-game set to open up a new week in MLB. Cardinals are playing the Mets in an interesting matchup because it's a one-off uh, before they go run off and uh, play other teams, but uh, they have a makeup game and then everybody else gets going. We've got half a series beginning on Monday and then the rest join up for a full slate on Tuesday. And this one will be another night game at Wrigley. There's been a few of those uh, of late. The Cubs uh, come off a dominant performance, a 6-2 win after falling behind against the rival Cardinals. They ended up uh, taking that series against St. Louis. So they've got a little momentum, very little, uh, as they uh, try to salvage Craig Council's first season in Chicago. But uh, right now, things are still looking bleak. They're a half game out of last place in the NL Central and six back of the final wild card. So they really have to get hot if they are going to make any push here over the next 20 games or so. The Minnesota Twins would make the playoffs if they started today. They are running second in the AL Central uh, and have for a while their uh, jockeying positions with the Kansas City Royals in pursuit of the Cleveland Guardians. And they come into this one at 62 and 48. Fresh off beating up on the Chicago White Sox, who have now lost 20 in a row. So the White Sox uh, were uh, soundly destroyed by uh, Minnesota all season. And uh, I'm sure Minnesota would love to see them again, but I don't think they play anymore. So now the Twins have to play real teams. And so this begins a, uh, a stretch for them where they'll be looking to improve on a 30-27 and 27 road record. They're still without Carlos Correa, who uh, will right likely begin a rehab assignment soon he's uh n unable to sprint for taking grounders so he should be back soon from a, a stint on the injured list due, due to a foot injury they do have uh, Royce Lewis back which is great for them because he continues to mash and uh when healthy he has been a menace at the plate twins come in 55 and 59 30 and 26 at home so uh they'll be looking to make some inroads here they are a home dog slight at plus 108 on the money line. Minnesota is at minus 118. And uh, the total here is set at 8. Again, first pitch is about 8.05 p.m., barring any delays. And there are a few scattered showers set to be uh, in the area in Chicago. And so we will uh, monitor that. But because we uh, are, uh, you know, have seen what the uh, weather is going to be like, we will still make the informed decision that we like the over on eight runs as the free play here on the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. Winds are going to be blowing in slightly at 10 miles per hour, uh, but that shouldn't make too much of a difference. We just like uh, the pitching matchup here. The hitters going against them. Kyle Hendricks, the veteran, takes the ball for the Chicago Cubs against rookie David Festa. Hendricks is 3-9 and nine with a 6.86 ERA, and it used to be that he was untouchable at Wrigley Field. Uh, that's no longer the case. He's 1-4 and four with a 6.23 ERA at home this season. Fest is making his fifth appearance. Uh, he is 1-2 uh, and two with a 6.98 ERA, a 1.40 whip, 21 strikeouts against just four walks. So that's impressive, over 19 innings, but he's yet to work more than five. So we should see the Minnesota bullpen here. He's had uh, losses against the Tigers. And at the Mets, a tough one, um, last time out on July 30th. He got no run support in that one. He's won at Arizona in his debut and uh, got a no decision against the Phillies. Has not thrown more than 81 pitches. Uh, and again, he's been roughed up a little bit. That's why that ERA is what it is. But uh, I think the Cubs will be able to get to him. We'll see if Ian Happ plays today. He is listed as day-to-day. -day. Byron Buxton from Minnesota play, uh, made a fantastic catch against Chicago and left for precautionary reasons. But he is likely to be in the mix uh, and say Suzuki is 13 for 37 with two home runs over the last 10 games and our pick to click in this one for the uh, total bases prop or runs hits and RBIs prop is Max Kepler for Minnesota 12 for 36 two doubles a triple and a home run over the last 10 games and against Kyle Hendricks he's three for three with two home runs so you might want to check out the home run prop on Max Kepler and take a shot there. Jeffers is one for two with a double in his career against Hendricks. Carlos Santana has seen him a lot. 
16 at bats. He's got five hits. So uh, that's uh, just over 300. He's got a double and a triple against him. And again, Hendricks has uh, seen better days, not quite washed up yet because he has had some decent performances this season, but certainly looked uh, really rough to start the season. And uh, if he loses here, it'll be his 10th setback of 2024. That's 6.86 ERA looking gnarly. And uh, I think that Minnesota, given that they're hitting the ball really well, uh, will do some damage. I'll uh, stay away from the side here just because Minnesota has to adjust to playing some real major league competition after beating up on the White Sox. But I do think they'll score runs. And I think Chicago will uh, continue their momentum at the plate after uh, touching up Miles Michaelis and uh, the Cardinals bullpen for six runs on Sunday night. These two teams were both good to me on Sunday. One four percent plays with both of them riding uh, Minnesota on the run line and Chicago straight up on the money line for 4% winners. Uh, so we will look to have a big week here in MLB and this will be a client play. We'll ride the over, uh, not necessarily for 4%, but I do have a 4% play up right now, a package that includes Leagues Cup Soccer and Monday's MLB. So look out for that. There'll be a free play. Check me out at w, uh, pardon me, sm.buzz slash TDM for that and package information. You can get in on August specials. We've got uh, football coming up. Preseason NFL begins uh, in earnest at the end of this week. There's games on Thursday. Uh, we started with the Hall of Fame game last Thursday, but it obviously had no conclusion due to rain. But uh, the gridiron is here and uh, baseball will continue. We've got the Olympics in full swing, medal round games in soccer and basketball. So look out for videos there and uh, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro, spelling down there below. Once again, Cubs and Twins from Wrigley, first of a three-game set. We are riding the over on eight runs. Hoping that you have a wonderful, profitable week. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.